Well, hi there, and welcome back to Christopher's Corner with me, Christopher Michaels, AKA, Who's Your Chubby? A viewer, Stacy, said she wanted to send me a belated birthday gift, so she did. Here it is. I'm about to open it. I'm very excited. Stacy, you didn't have to, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, help me out here, Miss Stacy. Okay, there we go. Oh, I can't. I don't know what it is. I can't wait to see what it is. What's two gifts? Yes. There's a tub ring and um, a tub drain stop. Well, Stacy, I, I don't know what to say. I really don't. They're lovely. Um, hey, Christopher. What? Did my Amazon package come in yet? I don't know. What was it? It was a tub stopper. <laughs> Oops. Well, <laughs> that was embarrassing, but I did put those things right where they needed to be. And the doctor said Storm will be out of the hospital any day now. So, you know, hey, <laughs> they were put to good use and they stopped a tub. Okay, so this actually is the real gift that Stacy sent me. This was very sweet of you, Stacy. You didn't have to, but thank you. All right, so uh, here it is, the easy to open. Oh, it is easy to open today. Okay. Watch it be a tub stop. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? Oh! Oh, this is so cool! Okay, uh, uh, there's a little eye that's gonna pop up, and that is for the uh, Beauty of Horror coloring books that I got. Stacy sent me the Beauty of Horror Taro, a gorgeous coloring set. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Can you get a close-up randomly uh, photography person who's not stormed because he's, you know, <laughs> indisposed? Oh my God, this is so cool. Um, and it says on the back here. The beauty of horror, tarot. Color your destiny. The beauty of horror creator illustrator Alan Robert expands Gulania's universe with this intricately detailed tarot card set featuring 78 pieces of original card art and guidebook to help decipher the divine. Guliana invites you to color the destiny that you desire. Packed with the same meticulously crafted style and devilishly dark humor as the best-selling book series, The Beauty of Horror Tarot Card Set is another perfectly hairy ah! for any horror fan's collection. Any similarities to persons living or dead oh, are purely coincidental. <laughs> And this says, okay, happy belated birthday, Christopher. Hope you enjoy coloring these as much as I do with my Tamit Joe pens. Another eye, click up there. A Christopher made me do it. <laughs> I hope you have another wonderful trip around the sun. Hmm. How did she know that I'm from, I mean, um, Alien, what are you talking about? Uh, from Stacy, I don't want to give the last name just in case. Thank you, Daisy. This is so cool. I cannot wait. So now we're going to cut to uh, me at my desk and I'm going to open these so you can all see what they look like. All right, so here we are and we have the Beauty of Horror Tarot cards by um, Alan Robert and Color Your Destiny. This is just so cool. A Gore, just coloring set. Stacy, these are awesome. They go with my coloring books. All right, let's get this open. Okay, let's not get this open. 
until we get my scissors. All right, God help me. There we go. I didn't kill myself. All right, that's gone. Now you could probably get a little bit better uh, look at the box here. Um, and then I'll turn it over so that you can hopefully uh, see it a little better. Then out there, I'll hold it up a little bit. We'll see if that works. Okay. Okay. Ooh, nice box. Ooh, yeah, very well constructed uh, box. And it has the kind of book opening so you don't have a lid that gets lost. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, nice ribbon to pull things out. Let's look through the book real quick. Yeah, it's really pretty. I can't stop staring at it. And then here's the back. Oh my. Wow. He really went out all out for these. It has uh, the little crease here that protects your book from falling apart. Is it a good crease? Yes. I can tell it's a good crease. That's, that's a well-made book. It really is. And then we have the introduction, some artwork, that's <laughs> images uh, from the coloring book. And uh, this is really cool. Major Arcana. And this is neat because this also tells me if I want to, you know, color it just like it's in here or what changes I want to make when I color them. That's pretty cool. That really is. Let me go through this rather quickly for everyone. At least the Major Arcana. Hopefully you can see it all. Let me try this. I hope that's better. I'm gonna just screw everything up by turning that light off. Oh, I think I missed a page. Wow. I'd have been happy with these just already being colored like this. <laughs> this is, like I say, I, I'm not talking because I keep uh, looking at the pictures, but uh, you know, it has the meaning and the reversed meanings. And, this is, this is like, this isn't a joke. This is like a real deck. Uh, this is pretty cool. I wasn't sure when I opened it. Is this gonna be like a joke deck, you know? Uh, and then the minor, which I'm not gonna go through all these because there's a whole bunch of them. Or should I? Should I go through them all? Well, let's just do it this way and we'll see what happens. And of course, you can always pause on any pictures you want to see better. This is really amazing. I am just, oh my God. This may be my new favorite deck. Oh, the Psycho House. At least that's what I call it. <laughs> Making off with what? is not his. I actually do know how to read tarot cards. I haven't done it in a while, but um, I do know, I used to do them all the time. I used to do them for friends and I was damn good at it, I must tell you. Uh, but then I just kind of got out of doing it. Oops, there's two pages there. I may have skipped some pages. And I'm sorry. A voyage, a trip. Trapped. Nightmares. Death. Hmm. These are quite amazing. They really are. I am thrilled with these. I haven't even opened the card yet. But uh, just the book alone, like I say, this is a really nice, sturdy book. And uh, you don't really get nice books with other decks you can buy that are like fancy schmancies. And uh, you know, you'll get this cheap piece of crap. By the way, if you never, if you don't get a book in a deck and it says to go to a website for a virtual book, then that means you have a bootleg copy. 
So that's exactly what that means. So, <clears throat> because you should always get a book with your deck. Except for, um, oh, there's a deck I have that's my favorite so far, although this might replace it. It did not have a book, but uh, it was really good. There's a little eye. It was Haunted Mansions or something like that. Oh, I've completely forgotten. There'll be a little eye and a description down below. It shows you how to lay out your cards. And then these are the coloring books that I have. Thank you, Michelle. And now I have this. Oh, thank you, Stacy. All right, let's get to the cards, shall we? Here they are, whoops, here they are. Again, really nice, nice um, box. And then the back of the cards, front of the cards that you color yourself. Okay, I don't want to damage these cards, but unfortunately, I'm not gonna open them without doing that. Did it work? I think it did. Yes, there we go. Yay. Yay, yay. Okay. Now, I'm not sure what to color these with. Stacy said she did hers with the uh, tan gel pens. I might do that. I might use, um, might use uh, some um, oil-based pencils. I have not made up my mind yet. But let's go ahead and go through this together. So, you know what, I'm gonna do it this way. Okay, the Fool. And again, you can pause to get a better look. That way I can go through these a little quicker. Uh, the Magician. The High Priestess. Is there two there? Feels like there's two there. But no, the Empress, these are amazing. I'm hoping with whatever I do color them with, it doesn't come off. Uh, I wish there was some kind of, I don't know if I would want to spray these with sealant or not. Uh, the gel, I don't believe would come off, so I probably will use the gel just to be safe. Don't know if I'll use sparkly gels because that might, the sparkles might come off, but I'm not sure. Emperor. Hey, if any of you have colored yours, let me know how you colored them. Uh, Stacy said you did yours with the gel. How did they come out? Did you like them? Uh, that's too cool. Okay, uh, the Hierophant is how I always say it. Hierophant, Hierophant. Uh, the Lovers. The Chariot, oh my God, that's hysterical. I love that. And Strength. And you know, you're supposed to bond with your tarot cards. What better way to bond with your tarot cards than to color them yourself? Ingenious and the smartest thing in the world. So if you're serious about doing tarot cards and you really want to have some that you have bonded with and they've become a part of you and you them, this is the set I would say to get because you can't bond any better than coloring them in. And to me, coloring is magic anyway. It's giving dimension and life to a piece of paper, uh, a drawing, uh, that's, that's just a piece of paper or drawing, and you're giving it life and texture. And, and so I know a lot of my uh, older fans are like, oh, you don't do anything magical anymore. And you're, I do. The coloring is very magical. And I, I'm sad that uh, some people don't see it that way. Okay. Hermit. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune, Justice, Pained Man, which is a mummy, I love it. Those bats are tormenting him. Death, remember death is not always a bad card. It could be just the end of something and the beginning of something wonderful. Temperance, The Devil, that's creepy. <laughs> the tower, not a good card, unless it's upside down. And it really depends on the cards around it, I guess. Uh, the star and the question. The moon. The sun. Judgment. The world. 
And by the way, these are nice, thick, well stock cards. These are nice. So these are not cheap. These are really nice. And I would tell you, gift or not, you know me. I actually have someone who uh, I'm no longer friends with that kept bitching at me, trying to take control of my channel, uh, telling me that, oh, you're so negative, you're terrible, you're awful, you're horrible. Um, I'm always going to be honest to my videos. I don't care. <laughs> That's when I started my channel, I said I would. I would always be honest to my channel. Um, if it means I don't get sponsors, if it means I don't get people that want to, you know, uh, watch the channel, that's fine. I don't want a sponsor that I have to then say what they want me to say. You know, a lot of sponsors send you a script or at least a list of what things you can say and cannot say. That's not why I started my channel. That's not how my channel's ever going to go. This person just wanted to, they were very helpful with a lot of advice, but then they wanted to take over my channel and started uh, harassing me uh, because she didn't think that I was positive enough in my videos and uh, has turned into quite the nutcase as far as I'm concerned. And we're no longer friends. But, um, you know, if you want honesty in videos, my channel's the one to come to. That's all I can tell you. Anybody else who has sponsors and stuff, chances are they're saying what they're told to say. That's just the, the truth. Okay, then we have, oh, we're, uh, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Three of Cups, Four of Cups. That's really cool, look at the tree. That's really cool. This card usually comes up with someone who's had things go bad for them and now they're afraid to take another chance. And it's like, should I, should I take another chance? There's one being offered. Uh, usually it's no because they're too afraid, but it depends on the person. And then um, five of cups, anger, bitterment. Uh, again, same basic thing, you know, nothing's worked out in the past, but there's always hope. Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Overwhelmed, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, that's cool, Ten of Cups, Page of Cups, is he gonna eat that fish you think? <laughs> Oops, Knight of Cups, that's so cool, I love that. Queen of Cups and King of Cups. Then we have Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. That is creepy as hell. <laughs> Four of Pentacles, pumpkin, love it, Halloween. Five of Pentacles. Is that King Kong or no? That's the Abominable Snowman or something. Six of Pentacles, uh, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, wanting to be rewarded for the things that you make and, uh, you know, taking pride in your workmanship and, and uh, wanting to be praised for the things you do, but a lot of times you're not. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and King of Pentacles. Uncle Fester on a really bad night. <laughs> okay, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords. Ooh, that is scary. Um, and this one, uh, making decisions, having to make a decision, uh, but you're afraid, you're terrified of, are you going to make the wrong decision? You're blindly going into something that you don't really feel comfortable with doing. And uh, it's a double-edged sword. Three of hearts, hearts, good Lord, swords. <laughs> um, four of swords. Five of swords battles, fighting. You will win if it's right side up. 
You won't win the battle you're in right now if it's upside down. A journey. Oh, this is um, uh, six of uh, swords. A journey, not always a good one. Uh, an escape, or it could be a journey into a trap. It depends on the cards surrounding it. Seven of swords. Eight of swords. By the way, you take no prisoners when you fight. Uh, and uh, you win at all costs. That's not always a good thing, though. Eight of swords. Nine of swords. Regret. Uh, ten of swords. Nightmares. Fear. Fright. Uh, troublesome. Worrisome. You name it. Page of swords. By the way, that was ten of swords. Page of swords. Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, oh, I think I used to know her, King of Swords, creepy but cool. Then we have Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, looking out at all the things that you've achieved but you're still not happy. Three of Wands. Four of Wands. Party! Uh huh, that's party! <laughs> Five of Wands. Six of Wands. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. A whole bunch of opportunities either coming to you or away from you because you're losing out. Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands. Felt a little bent there, wasn't sure. Uh, Page of Wands. Knight of S Wands. Almost said Swords. Queen of Wands. Whoops. And then we have King of Wands. All right, this deck is just absolutely amazing. I love it. I really do. And I can't wait to color it. And I'm not sure if I will color it on camera. I know, I know, I know. But because is this something to bond with? I think I'm gonna do it um, privately. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll color one, who's to say? But that's my decision and it was my gift. But uh, if I do color anything uh, from here on camera, of course you will all see it. All right, Stacy. thank you so much. This is not only awesome and cool, but really well constructed and great and something that will last forever. And I love them. And thank you. And do you have this deck? If you do, did you color them? Did you leave them like they were? How did you color them? I'd love to know uh, all that information. And again, thank you, Stacy. It has been a terrific birthday. I am thrilled beyond belief. And, um... You know what? Stay safe out there and um, take care of yourselves with the different variants going around. You got to be careful. So I say go back to wearing masks. That's my personal belief. I don't care if they say you need to or not. I'm, I say if you want to be safe, wear your masks. I know we do whenever we go out in public. Okay. So having said that, I will say now, stay safe, stay sane, stay healthy, stay happy. Stay tuned. Bye, and thank you.